Welcome to Bishop's Gate and Waterford FC have moved into second spot in the SSE Air Twisty League of Ireland. First division ahead of Galway on goal difference after a 2-1 victory over Longford Town at Bishop's Gate this evening. And the goals coming from Phoenix Patterson and Wasim Arachira after Matthew O'Brien had put Longford in front with a stunning strike as early as the fourth minute. That goal coming on four minutes for the host when uh, Longford Town won a three kick and uh, the, uh, sorry, a throw in, and the throw in was played by uh, Lynch to O'Brien. Water player was coming in to challenge him. He spun away from the Water player. He's about 30 yards out on the left and he hit an absolute rocket of a shot that swerved and dipped over water keeper Paul Martin into the back of the Blues net. However, Longford's lead didn't last that long as on 16 minutes, they found themselves 2-1 behind after the Blues scored twice in the space of 90 seconds. The first goal coming from a 25-yard three kick and Phoenix Patterson, of course, top goal scorer for Waterford, scored his 13th goal and he's no stranger from scoring from three kicks. He won the, the three kick was 125 yards out from goal and he just uh, fired it over the Longford Town wall into the top corner of the net beyond the Longford Town keeper, Colin Cox. That was the equaliser, and 90 seconds later, the Blues were 2-1 up as uh, Patterson was to the four again. He won possession of the ball. He fed the ball out to Arachira on the right edge of the Longford box, and he curled home a beautiful low shot from just outside the box, beyond the despairing diver Cox, into the back of the net. So Water were 2-1 up at, after 16 minutes. And uh, 10 minutes before the interval, Patterson weaved his way into the town box. He uh, uh, pulled the trigger, but his shot was blocked by Eric Malloy. Then in first half, stoppage time, Water had won a corner. Killian Catwell rose highest, but his 10-yard header was smartly saved by the Longford town keeper, Colin Cox. Second half wasn't as action-packed as the first half, and uh, chances were the premium. The best chance for the Blues, the visitors, came in on 52nd minutes. El Nair, he held the ball up brilliantly inside the town box. He turned, played the ball out to Junior, 16 yards out from goal, totally on map, but he got under the ball and fired it over the Longford Town crossbar. Longford Town pushed for an equaliser towards the end. Their penalty appeals when Jordan Adeyemo went down on the box waved away. But shortly after that, Longford Town won a corner deep, deep into stoppage time. It was delivered by Joe Power. Mick McDonald rose highest. His glancing header just went inches wide. But Darren Clark almost got on the end of it, the Longford Town sub, at that back post. But the ball just bounced over his leg. As I said, it just went wide. So full-time scoreline here from Bishop's Gate. It finished Longford Town won Water FC2, so Longford Town could end up playing goal in the playoffs. It's all to play for, two games remaining for all teams. And Longford Town next in action against Cove. And of course, Water would have Treaty and Athlone Town with their final two home games. Full time scoreline here from Bishop's Gate. It finished Longford Town won Waterford 2. Tony G reporting for the final whistle.